Good morning and welcome to BizTech's Conversations. Our guest today is Peter Wee. Peter is the council member for the Malaysian Business Angels Network and leads corporate innovation and the investment initiative. Welcome to the show, Peter. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Good morning to you. Now, Peter, give us an overview of your corporate career, particularly at PwC and at Rico. Hmm. Um, I was 20 years in PwC, uh, and uh, when I was um, uh, executive director there, I mean, I, I deal with a lot of corporates, um, obviously. And after that, I moved on to Rico Malaysia, and I moved there. Uh, as their managing director where I was serving for about seven years uh, and uh, it was really interesting times <laughs> because uh, we did me and the team did uh, quite a bit of transformation on the business uh, and also some ac uh, one acquisition there so I thought mm, this is you know innovation at work and so you transitioned from the, the consulting world into getting your hands really dirty uh, in the operational sense as MD of Rico yes definitely and then that brings you to your hat now at MBAN. Mm. Tell us more. Um, because when in my dealings with corporate Malaysia, uh, I felt that um, even in rec very recent discussions in the last two, three years, uh, I felt that a lot of corporates, they know they are being, um, uh, they need to transform and they're being disrupted, disrupted by startups, disrupt, disrupt, disrupted by other players who are moving um, ahead with the transformation and to use that word innovation. So I felt that um, when I talked to them, they said, I want to transform, I want to innovate, but how do I do it? And I think that's a bigger question that's come up, especially post-COVID, when corporates realise that they, they, the speed of innovation has to be a lot quicker. And I think boardrooms also now are more aware of the need to innovate rather than business as usual. Yes. Uh, definitely, I think everyone might have seen the joke on uh, on on WhatsApp when COVID happened. You say, "What made your transformation? Was it your CEO? Was it your board?" No, no, no. It was COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're right. So it becomes uh, an imperative and becomes an urgency for a lot of companies now. So how do I innovate? And so, what is this initiative that Mban is championing? Okay, um, as as Alan had mentioned in the, in the earlier episode, that uh, we are an association at Mban, and we work quite a lot um, with the the in, the startups and also the angels. So we educate the 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 market in terms of what are the uh, how is it like working with the angels, and also how do you work with the startups. So we are doing that awareness and education. So when we looked at it, we said that look. One of the ways which corporates can transform themselves is to work with startups or even invest in startups as part of their, their um, transformation or innovation strategy. So we said that why don't we get corporates to work with, angel, uh, with, uh, with startups and maybe invest in them because there are quite a lot of synergies for corporates to work with startups and startups to work with corporates. Yeah. And I think one of the key challenges, particularly in a Malaysian context, is we don't have that culture of innovation and collaboration, for example, with universities. So we don't have that Silicon Valley, Stanford collaboration as an example. And perhaps that is one of the reasons why in the past we've had a, a, a slower pace of innovation within corporate Malaysia. And secondly, also perhaps innovation or investment in R&D that's probably not in the right areas. Mm. Um, you, you, you are right and a lot of times it comes to awareness as well as to what is the whole ecosystem. If, if I were running a company again, I, I would be asking who are the innovation, possibilities of innovation and who do I work with? Like Brian, you're absolutely right. There are so many players, ex especially in the R&D space where where universities and uh, in some associations have got all this um, uh, uh, network where corporates can work with them. Um, so it's to me, it's an awareness um, and, and also uh, what are the other opportunities in, involved. So at MBAN, we not only try to get corporates in, but we try to work as an umbrella organization to connect the dots with the other ecosystem players. 
not only the startups but also the umbrella organizations like SME Corp, uh, we got MDAC, Magic, um, uh, and and the and the likes. So that we, in even ASM, the Academy Science Malaysia, okay. where they have got a trove of ideas and intellectual property and also research behind this. So why can't corporates maybe tap into those type of ideas or even work with universities and startups to have this collaboration. So in other words, one of the strategies uh, is to tap on uh, R&D that's already been done and to commercialize it. Yes, that is one way. Yeah? And the other way could be to, for corporates to venture build together with, with startups. For example, I may have an issue on how to make a faster printer, for example, or, or a, a, print, a printer which is able to do some other things. So who can I collaborate with? And I've got this problem statement. And who best to do this, and, uh, with, uh, especially with the young and, uh, you know, and ambitious startups? So that could be a collaboration. So on top of that, they could use the university's professors and also the technology behind it to work together. I mean, this is one, <laughs> one area, of course. Now, now, from a sectoral perspective, are you all going to focus on a couple of key areas rather than going a wide area? Mm, I think our, our key sectoral areas will be mainly technology-based. Yeah, because that's Any where specific I think, verticals? Is it an uh, industry 4.0? Is it uh, virtualization? Is it uh, data science? What, what is the strategy? Uh, you, you have absolutely covered it um, because mainly in the high tech space, because this is where the next frontier is uh, for, for innovation. You got to use cutting edge things like AI, um, uh, uh, industry 4.0, sensors and so on and so forth because that is what's going to drive the nation forward in terms of productivity and also you know, new ideas or even business model coming up. That's what we think is innovation should be all about. Now, what is your, your corporate partner acquisition strategy? Have you identified uh, some corporates and, and, and what sort of corporates are you looking for specifically? Okay, if you look at it from a personal level, for our membership, we, would, we don't um, pick and choose uh, because we want to open this. Uh, however, we have some anchor uh, 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 corporates which are coming up and very keen. To could you learn. name some of them? Uh, I, I could name one for the Sunway Group. Okay. It's, it's, one, it's going to be one of our earliest members and we are opening the membership up in the next few weeks. And the Sunway Group has been quite active in trying to innovate. They have Sunway iLabs, which was started a few years ago. They've yes. now started a new initiative, the, the 42KL initiative for Correct. coding. So, yeah, they're very, very much in, in, interested in innovation. Yes, yes. Because um, in our uh, MBAN program, uh, we have got, um, you know, uh, awareness and education. The other part is immersion, and the other one is also um, be, being the, the platform to for them to connect. So we have easily two or three thousand of uh, startups. Yeah. So they could tap or corporates could tap into this database and work with them. So you have a database that they can literally go through and and see areas which they, are, they, they have compatibility or interest in, yes. and then you could drill down and match them together. Yes. That's the strategy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because of the years and years of us, um, you know, uh, working with the startups and uh, if I use the word parading them or, or <laughs> showcasing them yes. yeah, during our monthly pitches. So these are the higher quality guys coming through the system. Yeah. Peter, that sounds fascinating. I wish you all the best in in this initiative, it sounds like a, something that's very important for the Malaysian ecosystem and for yes. corporate Malaysia as well. Yes. So, uh, that was Peter Wee. He is the council member for Malaysia Business Angels Network. And this has been BizTech Conversations. I'm Brian Fernandez. Uh, please check us out on www.biztech.asia for business and technology conversations.